You got to be ready now, Randy, because the camera's on. Oh, great. How you doing, guys? It's another episode with Getting There Green with Randy. And Amanda. <laughs> Hi. Um, what are we doing today again? Oh, Not like I already we know. did a lot today. We've been working on our greenhouse, and I. this is like may not be the most work we've done on it, but it certainly brought the most results. There's a roof on, and it looks like there's plastic on, but it's not secured down. It's just draped over top, and we've got to go out and get some materials. Basically staples. need staples. <laughs> we ran out of staples. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. We came up with something cool today, how we're going to do the venting. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys ever totally overthink things? Like, you know, sometimes, this is going back 10 years, but when you're in school and you're writing a test and you overthink and you realize everybody else has done the test and you still have three pages to go, and you realize, I may be overthinking this, <laughs> right? Yeah. We, we had a moment like that today where we realized that we've been way overthinking something. The venting. We wanted to vent this and have easy ventilation. We were thinking about all kinds of crank mechanisms and motors yeah. and all kinds of crazy yeah. hydraulics and yeah. um, but uh, what do you call those things that move cars up <laughs> when you change the tires? Car jack. Car jacks. We were gonna. We were thinking of implementing car jacks. We were thinking different materials, some bolts and stuff, and then suddenly, light bulb. Light bulb moment. <laughs> you want to explain it? It's your idea, but I will explain it. Alright. Alright. So, you see this roof joist right here? Yep. Okay. We're going to attach this plastic to this roof joist and then put another, uh, some strips to uh, hold it down on top. And then this section here, that's between this roof joist and the, the wall joist that's at the top there, yep. is going to be loose. Okay. But it's not just going to be completely loose, you know, because that would defeat the purpose of right. a greenhouse. It's just not going to be stapled down. Exactly. What we're going to do is we're going out when we go to Canadian Tire, go to get some more uh, materials, uh, we're going to get some duct tape and a grommet kit. Grommets! We like grommets. <laughs> That's the second time grommets came up this week. Yeah. <laughs> the other one was um, in your office. Oh, yeah, we were Coffee, talking about grommets. Grommet in the table. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Different so grommet. We're going to get that grommet kit, and we're going to get some bungee cords. Bungee cords? Yeah. What are you going to do with bungee cords? Well, when I put the grommets in, I don't want the grommets to rip the plastic, so mm -hmm. that's why we're getting the duct tape. Yeah. So we get the duct tape, we'll put it where we want the grommets to be on the other side, so this roof piece, mm -hmm. and then we'll put the grommets in. Everybody could see how the roof piece is like way overlapped on the other side there. I have no you idea. See that, you right? Yes, they can. Awesome. I can totally see it, so okay. they can see it. So when we put those grommets in, then we'll be able to just hook one of those uh, bungee cords in, and then put a loop down further here on the outside wall. So then all we're doing is you just loop that on, and then just you know, tighten it. So it's going to pull this tight and it's going to stay tight and create the seal over the top. But when mm -hmm. we want ventilation, we'll just unhook it, use the bungee cords to kind of flip it over. And there we go. So and simple. then it'll have another spot where it secures open, right? The bungee cord, like more loops yeah. over there somewhere. Yeah. Probably we'll near the door. Spot over by the door. Um, that's the other thing we did today. We, um, yeah. I think the question we, we've been asked the most, both on YouTube and anybody who's been to our house, is why did you make the door only five feet tall? And our answer just was, I, I don't know. So <laughs> it's now um, just over six feet tall, so Randy can walk through the door now. <laughs> and so can everybody who visits our house that's any taller than me. Yeah, we're going to reuse the door that we had in there before. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. The door that was in the old greenhouse exactly fits our new door. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> right on. Yeah, so some things we didn't think hard enough about and other things we overthought. It's but... a learning process, and this is completely our little brainchild, so... Yeah. Um, but the other thing is we put these um, these supports in, in the roof 
here. Mm -hmm. um, and we have come up with a multiple purpose for that. Of course, there's always going to be more than one purpose for anything we do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is for storage of things like our tomatoes. Our tomato steaks. We'll put them a little higher so we're not whacking it. So you're we'll not walking into it? I won't walk into it. Or whatever. But you see, <laughs> now we've got a perfect place to store. And look, places things. to store tools, which was our plan all along with the yep. tools anyway, and the side. Put little pot things along here. Yeah. And everything. But what else is going in here? The kitchen sink. Oh, yes. <laughs> Everything, including a kitchen sink. That'll be another project for another day. Yeah. This video is already over five minutes long. Holy moly. Probably our longest um, preparing the new greenhouse video so far. But, um... I feel like there was something else I wanted to say. And... www.gettingtheirgreen.com Oh, of course, that's what it was. Uh, Facebook.com slash green. Twitter.com slash getting there, GRN, and our uh, Google, who cares about Google Plus anyway? Google Plus too. Go to our website um, or Facebook. Those are your two yeah. best that we interact with the most. Yeah, website and Facebook. Twitter once in a while. Uh, All right. Yeah. So we're going to Canadian Tire, one of our favorite stores. Yes. We usually end up spending a buttload there because we just every time we walk in we see a million things we want just for clarification how much is a buttload i'll tell you when we're done <laughs> <laughs> but canadian tire then gives you canadian tire money back Yay! it's could, great to be canadian you take that money and people think it's american money in other countries <laughs> actually americans probably think it's canadian money uh, it's our funny money it's colored just like canadian it's money colored. and it All says money's Canada. changing though it's going plastic. Yeah, and and we mean that by not as in credit cards. We mean that as in the bills themselves are physically are plastic. Actually, plastic. With clear. But they feel cards. like they feel like paper though. Yeah. They feel the same as always. They just won't tear. Yeah. yeah. That's okay with me. Yeah. They Whatever. Get rid of the penny. That's another story. That's not okay with me. So so <laughs> much for a penny for your thought. Oh yeah. The next generation of children will be like, what? Nickel for your thought. I don't even know <laughs> what penny for your thought means. Okay, <laughs> that's it. See you later, guys. We'll give you another update when this is all done. See ya.